Good morning, everyone. It's such a pleasure for me to join uh, your conference, even all the way from Finland, actually. Um, I will be sharing you with some examples from developing circular economy monitoring in Finland. And um, my point of view is particularly from the research and development side. So I will be sharing you some our examples, good and bad ones, uh, from developing pilot indicators for monitoring circular economy. But um, let's first start with taking just a, a quick look on the Finnish monitoring of circular economy. So basically, we already had a circular economy roadmap back in 2016, uh, but still we went on with the European circular economy monitoring framework until last year. So that was our main monitoring of circular economy. Uh, but last year, we got a government resolution on a strategic program to promote a circular economy. And this was really an important strategy paper for Finland, because here we got the first national list uh, of circular economy metrics and also targets uh, according to most of these metrics. And as you can see here on the right side, uh, they are basically quite conventional circular economy metrics that are mentioned in the in the framework, uh, such as DMC and or material input required for domestic end use, uh, RMC, um, circular material use rate, and so on. But there are also some um, a bit stranger ones and newer ones. Um, for example, this turnover of circular economy sectors and the number of circular economy enterprises in Finland. And actually, this indicator is developed by uh, Statistics Finland, the National Statistics Office, uh, in a research project that I will be uh, explaining a bit further uh, in the next slides. Also, um, at the moment, we are in, in my institute, in the Finnish Environment Institute, we're working on circular economy barometers, both for business and consumers to kind of uh, deep dive towards the small signals that are taking place uh, in everyday lives of people and also in traditional industries in the business sector. So these are really, um, when you look at this list, then you can quite easily see that uh, the research and development activities going on nationally, they are very important way of kind of pushing these new indicators even towards the national monitoring framework. And that's why uh, I will take a couple of minutes to showcase our project that uh, these, uh, these actions have been um, focused on. So um, in this circular uh, economy project called CERC Waste, uh, under the funding of European Life IP program, we are implementing the National Waste Plan and also uh, promoting circular economy nationally with uh, 20 pilot projects going on in different parts of Finland. And my institute, Finnish Environment Institute, is coordinating the project, and we are also developing monitoring for circular economy nationally. Um, when we started the project uh, some six years ago, we had two aims in mind for development of circular economy monitoring. And the first aim that was really important to us was that we wanted to capture the broader spectrum of circularity, like Juliet was actually uh, really nicely explaining uh, in the previous presentation, then it's really important to move away from only measuring waste and material streams, but also take a look at something like circular economy innovations or research and development, um, circularity transition in the business sector. And also what we wanted to measure was the social aspects of circular economy and also the social impacts. Um, of course, it's not too easy, and these are all quite new things to monitor, at least in Finland. Um, another aim we had in mind was that we want to provide uh, local data to support the local development of circular economy and support the local decision making. And this doesn't work with national statistics, but we actually need some local level data. And having these two uh, aims in mind, we quite quickly realized that there is no such data lying around much uh, in the national statistics, but there is really new uh, need for some new data, and we start to we we just need to start piloting some innovative new indicators to capture these um, these challenges. 
Um, well, then next I will share with some examples of these new pilot indicators that we developed. And some of them were um, more successful than the others, but I, I try to explain both the more uh, successful ones and then the less successful ones also. What we really wanted to aim at were the inner circles of circular economy. So we wanted to, of course, provide some basic data from waste streams in a local level, but then we wanted to look at the inner circles of circular economy. So basically move away from just recycling and take a, taking a look at reducing and uh, reusing materials. Um, and we wanted to kind of um, formulate indicators for this cross-sectional themes such as education and employment in circular economy and also monitoring of circular business and the, the transition in, in business sector. Um, well, in, in the sharing economy part, so really in the deeper inner circles of circular economy, we managed to find some indicators, for example, uh, indicator on the number of loans of library items in public libraries in Finland. And this is basically an example of sharing economy. Uh, we use the library's databases to monitor the loans uh, of non-traditional library items. So other things than just books and CDs and DVDs that the libraries normally loan out. But we wanted to take a look at the sharing economy happening there. And it actually worked out quite well. And it would be possible to uh, extend this pilot indicator to more municipalities as well. Uh, we also managed to use the geographic data on the reusable textile collection points in Finland, uh, an open data set that we could take and uh, combine it with Finnish Environment Institute's own data, set, data sets and also use the national data sets on road network. And with these uh, different data sets, combining them, we could analyze the accessi accessibility of reusable textile collection everywhere in Finland. And once these algorithms were made, we can actually update this kind of data to online data systems available for everyone uh, annually with quite a small effort. So it was really a, a nice new addition to our monitoring. Uh, what we also tried uh, or did was that we cooperated with uh, universities of applied sciences in Finland and we tracked down the course credits uh, in circular economy and this is also something that the universities of applied sciences are very fond of and they will continue the monitoring in the future as well. And also we cooperated with the Statistics Finland to uh, track down the already existing statistics that would tell us something about uh, employment in circular economy, particularly in recycling, repair and reuse and lending and um, uh, this kind of activities. And also we mapped down the supportive employment that is kind of the social uh, employment of circular economy, such as refuse sorters uh, as a supported employment in Finland. Well, um, we we had some nice examples. Also, we had some problems <laughs> and not everything worked out. We had really trouble working on uh, shared public space. Um, it was really difficult to get data on these kinds of indicators. Also, we're still struggling to get some local level data on, on construction and demolition waste. Um, we would need a lot, lot more re resources to do that. Um, but luckily, we also managed to find some nice new indicators that end up, ended up in the strategic program in the official framework. Also some actions, local waste data that ended up as new actions in the national waste plan. And also we have our own indicators that we are able to uh, continue monitoring even after the project. So we consider these ones quite uh, a success. And just as final conclusions, um, what we learned was that sometimes you just need to start with what you already have. Even though it's not perfect, it's a way to start and then you can start building on it. And also we realize that the cooperation is really the key also in this point. So it's really wonderful if you can find some 
stakeholders, for example, branch organizations that are already monitoring something that might be also interesting for monitoring circular economy. And with that kind of cooperation, you can build on um, more continuous uh, monitoring within circular economy. And then, of course, if you really need to know something, then you just have to start digging and, and make surveys like we are doing at the moment with parameters. And still, of course, we are coping with two small sample sizes and we are struggling with really big uncertainties and we have difficulties in interpreting the results, particularly of the social or socioeconomic indicators for circular economy. But I think it's still worth trying and working with these uh, new and innovative indicators. But if you are interested, then here are some further readings, our publications, and also feel free to contact my colleagues in the Finnish Environment Institute or Statistics Finland anytime, and also uh, looking forward to hear your questions in the, in the next session. Thank you so much for your attention.